Squeak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here. But I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? I guess not. <laughs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. <gasps> His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. Octonauts? We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ooh, ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. That means go. Captain Barnacle to Octopod. Octopod here. Go ahead, Cap. Tweak, Peso. Our trip to the beach is in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? A completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. <gasps> In time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Yow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Righto, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. 
Captain, I've never performed a crab ectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crab ectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. Damn! We're getting sucked in! Optonauts, lean this way. Well done. Are we getting closer? There she is, up ahead. A whirlpool! It's not good! Oh, it's weak! Don't worry, Sandy. We're gonna save you from that whirlpool! We'll find a way, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain! There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap! Doctor Hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Ah, I don't see a thing. I better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. Okay, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And um, why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. <gasps> Stand back, I've got it. Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. Problem catching up to them. 
when flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh! And look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin! I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts! We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the Professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it. My belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice sea grass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah! Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, my favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <clears throat> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sunny, and this is Janice. We are the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sunny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look, and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sunny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's uh, head back to the octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. <laughs> We're going upstream and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. 
The eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing! Anywhere they can go, we can go too. to Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the cup hay has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after them, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Octonauts, let's follow them. Follow who, Captain? We don't even know what these seaweed snatchers look like. All we saw was a tail. Hmm. Let's just think this through. What do we know about them? Well, there must have been a few of them, because we saw a lot of footprints. Aye, and don't forget all that slimy salt on the floor. Hmm, and the long, scaly tail. Just like the iguanas in Dash's pictures. Well, but they can't be iguanas. Iguanas don't swim in the ocean, do they? Wait a minute! Iguanas? Galapagos Islands? Missing seaweed? Of course! Marine iguanas! Marine iguanas? Yes, marine iguanas are a special kind of iguana who only live in the Galapagos Islands. They're also the only kind of iguanas who can swim and their favourite food is seaweed. But what about the salt? The seaweed they eat is very salty, so they sneeze out the extra salt. <laughs> Good job, Shellington. At least now we know who we're after. And there they be! Let's get those marine iguanas and find out what they've done with our seaweed. Octonauts, hold on. Yikes! Some blue thingy came out of the big orange thingy and now it's coming after us. We've got to get out of here fast! <laughs> it's getting close up. <laughs> They're trying to lose us in the seaweed. Hang on, we're going in. This way, the seaweed's thicker over here. They'll never make it through. Turn off the propeller, Quasi. We don't want to get stuck. Hold on, we're going down. It's no good. We're stuck. We can't get out! See? Nobody gets through seaweed like an iguana. Didn't you hear them, guys? I think we should help. The hatch is stuck. We're trapped. Hmm. The marine iguanas aren't swimming away. And they do like seaweed. I have an idea. Um, excuse me, marine iguanas, are you still hungry? Huh? How would you like a nice, big, juicy seaweed snack? Wow, look at them eat. There's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm. Let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. It's a a sha sha sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa. <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. Uh-oh. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. 